after studying this module, you shall be able to know about the different alcoholic beverages which are very commonly consumed like beer, wine, whiskey, brandy and rum. Beer can be classified as an alcoholic drink which is manufactured by the process of fermentation of resulting sugar and sacrification of starch. The sacrificed starch and other enzymes are commonly derived from malted cereal grains. Most often the malted barley and malted wheat are used for this purpose. They are also seasoned with hops that not only add bitterness but also act as preservatives. Herbs and fruits may also be added to enhance its flavor. Besides water and tea, the third popular drink is the beer and is most commonly taken as an alcoholic beverage. And some people believe it to be the oldest fermented beverage. The strength of beer is usually around 3% to 8% alcohol by volume which is abbreviated as ABV. Although it may vary from 0.5% which is called as then de-alcoholized beer and it may go up to 20%. So dear students, let us study all these in more details with the help of graphics and visual where we will be dealing about how they are prepared and then what are the various classification and focusing on the alcohol content in all of them. Next, brewing. The process of making beer is known as brewing. A brewery is a place particularly used for the manufacture of beer. Nevertheless, it can also be prepared at home. Brewing is needed so as to convert the starch into a sugary liquid also known as wort which is then finally converted into the alcoholic drink beer with the method of fermentation followed by catalysis of yeast in the first step the process of mashing is applied that includes the mixing of starch source or usually malted barley with hot water. Then crushed malt is dissolved in hot water and this mixture is also called gist which is carried out in a mash tube. This step of mashing is completed in around one to two hours in which the starch is converted to sugar and the sweetened wort is drained of the grain after which the grains are washed. Sparging is the name given to the technique of washing of the grains. This procedure helps the brewer to collect fermented liquid from the grains. The method of separating the sparge and wort is known as wort separation. Nowadays Breweries like it better to use filter frames that allows more finely grounded grist. The sweet wort obtained from the process of sparging is made to boil for an hour in a kettle. While the boiling process is carried out, the water present in the wort gets evaporated and sugars in addition to other components in the wood remain as this permits more efficient usage of the sources of starch in the beer. This step destroys the enzymes left after the mashing process and also during the boiling step hopes are mixed so as to provide flavor, aroma and bitterness to the beer. After boiling, the hope that has been added to the wort is cooled and gets ready for fermentation. In the process of fermentation, this wort 
is converted to beer that needs a week to few months time relying on the strength and type of beer. Also, during this step, the fine particulate matter present in the word gets settled down in conjunction to the production of alcohol. Clear beer is obtained as the yeast also settles down as soon as the process of fermentation is complete. The process of fermentation is occasionally done in two steps, primary and secondary. After the production of alcohol in the primary fermentation process, the beer is put in a new container and the secondary fermentation process is carried out when the beer needs long storage before being packed the process of secondary fermentation is carried out once the fermentation process is complete it is packed into bottles casks or aluminium cans next we move on to measurement Strength of beer is measured and evaluated by its bitterness, strength and color. The apparent bitterness is stated by IBU that is International Bitterness Units Scale. Next we move on to color. The color of the beer is confirmed by the presence of malt. Pale malts form pale amber color. The preferred shade is given to dark beers generally by brewing them with a larger malt base in combination with darker malt. Other colorants like caramel are also extensively employed to darken the color of the beer. Now we will study about the strength. The strength varies from less than 3% ABV to about 14% ABV. However, the strength of beer can be improved to about 20% by repitching with yeast of champagne and to 55% ABV by the technique of freeze distilling. The alcohol content of beer varies by local practice or beer style. The alcohol in beer comes primarily from the metabolism of sugars that are produced during fermentation. The amount of fermented sugar in the wort and the type of yeast employed in the fermentation of the wort are the two main aspects which govern the quantity of alcohol that will be there in the final beer. Additional fermentable sugars are sometimes added to increase alcohol content. Alcohol is a byproduct of yeast metabolism. Typical brewing yeast cannot survive at alcohol concentrations above 12% by volume. The alcohol content is readily affected by the little fermentation time as it decreases the efficiency of yeast and also due to small temperature. Ingredients of beer Following are the chief ingredients that are used in brewing. Water. Beer is composed mainly of water. The mineral component will be different for the various regions. As a result of this, beer of different regions has different characteristics which could more correctly be stated as the regional characteristics of that beer. Next, is the starch source. In case of beers, the source of fermented material is the starch 
that determines flavor and strength of the beer. Malted grain is the preferred source of starch. Malted grain is formed by soaking the grain in water, thereby allowing it for germination. The germinated grain is then dried in a kiln. This grain forms enzymes that convert starch present in the grain into fermented sugar to produce dark beers darker malts are employed and also varying temperatures and roasting times are used so as to give different colors to beer from the same grain next are the hops the commercial use of hops is for providing the desired flavor to beers for the flavoring and preservative purpose in beers the flour of hop wine is used these flours are frequently termed as hops they have a number of features that brewers want in beer hops add bitterness which stabilizes the sugariness of the malt the bitterness of beers is measured on the international bitterness units scale hops contribute floral citrus and herbal aromas and flavors to beer they have an antibiotic effect that favors the activity of brewers yeast over less desirable microorganisms and aids in head retention that is the length of time that a foamy head created by carbonation will last also it acts as a preservative next we will study about yeast the fermentation in beer is done with the help of microorganism that is yeast it metabolizes the sugar taken out from the grains that produces alcohol and carbon dioxide hence turning wort in beer also it influences the color and flavor of the beer in combination with the fermentation process the leading varieties of yeast which are used to manufacture beer are the top fermenting saccharomyces cerevisiae and bottom fermenting saccharomyces uverum clarifying agent in beers one or more clarifying agents are added which naturally precipitate out of the beer in addition to solid proteins and are found only in trace amounts in the finished product this process makes the beer appear bright and clean rather than the cloudy appearance and older styles of beer such as wheat beers clarifying agents comprise ising glass found from fish swim bladders a seaweed that is irish moss etc next we move on to the nutritional information the nutritional information calories present protein fat saturated fat carbohydrates sodium and alcohol by volume wine is an alcoholic drink obtained from the fermentation of grapes or other fruits and comprises of an alcoholic concentration of 10% to 15% volume by volume so wine as compared to beer can see is having much more higher percentage of alcohol content yeast plays their role by consuming the sugar present in grapes and thus converting them to alcohol and carbon dioxide varieties of wine can be manufactured 
by using different types of grapes and yeasts. The well-known variations result from the very complex interactions between the biochemical development of the fruit, reactions involved in fermentation, and human intervention in the overall process. The concluding product possibly will comprise of thousands of chemical compounds in quantities changing from a few percent to a few parts per billion. Wines made from grapes are typically so-called after the product from which they are produced. For example, rice wine, pomegranate wine, apple wine, and elderberry wine are generically called fruit wine. The word Wine also denotes drinks that are fortified or starch fermented containing higher alcoholic content. For example, sake or barley wine. Also, the type of grapes usually employed for manufacturing of wine and also fruits certainly lack either a high amount of fermented sugar, comparatively low acidity, yeast nutrients desired to promote or continue fermentation or a blend of these three features. This is perhaps one of the core causes why wine obtained from grapes has traditionally been more predominant by far than other forms and why particular types of fruit wine have usually been restricted to regions in which the fruits were native or introduced for other reasons. Barley wine and rice wine, for example, sake, are manufactured from materials based on starch and look a lot like that of wine, whereas ginger wine is fortified with brandy. In these later cases, the term wine refers to the similarity in alcohol content rather than to the production process. Next, we move on to classification. Rules administer classification and sale of wine in many areas of the world. European wines are categorized by the areas such as Rioja, Bordeaux and Chianti, whereas non-European wines are most frequently categorized by the type of grapes such as Merlot and Pinot Noir. Next, we move on to vintage. A vintage wine is prepared from grapes that were mostly grown in a year and termed as such. Wines of high quality improve in flavor with age if appropriately put in storage. Therefore, it is not unusual for wine buffs and sellers to save bottles of an exclusively good vintage wine for future consumption. The next alcoholic beverage that we will consider in detail is whiskey and whiskey can be defined as the alcoholic drink obtained from fermentation of grain mash and it has alcohol concentration of even higher percentage that is almost 40 to 42 percent volume by volume. And for making whiskey, various grains are used for of different types like corn, rye, barley, wheat, malted barley and so on. Whiskey is a strictly controlled spirit globally with many varieties and brands. The characteristic amalgamating features 
of the various classes and forms consists of the fermentation of grains, distillation and aging in wooden barrels. Next, we move on to types. The areas where grains are grown mostly produce whiskey or whiskey-like products. They vary in terms of quality, base product and alcoholic content. Malt whiskey is obtained chiefly from malted barley and grain whiskey is obtained from various types of grains. Malts and grains are combined in various ways. First, single malt whiskey. In this type of whiskey, it is obtained from a single distillery manufactured from mash that is obtained from only one type of malted grain except the whiskey that is labeled as single cask. It contains whiskey from many casks and different years. So the blender can achieve a taste recognizable as typical of the distillery. At certain instances, single malted whiskey bears the name of the distillery along with the age account of whiskey and possibly indications of some exceptional treatments for example maturation in a port wine cask next is blended malt whiskey when single malted whiskies obtained from various distilleries are mixed together the final product obtained is blended malt whiskey if a whiskey is branded as pure malt or only malt it is certainly a blended malt whiskey also it was previously termed a watered malt whiskey next we move on to blended whiskies these are naturally prepared from a combination of malted and grain whiskies frequently accompanied by neutral spirits caramel and flavoring agents a whiskey can be simply called the scotch irish or canadian whiskey that is most likely to be blended whiskey a blend normally comprises whiskey from several distilleries such that the blender can create a flavor which is stable with the brand the brand name such as shivas regal kati sark generally does not hence encompass the name of a distillery Jamson Irish whiskey is an exception because it is obtained from only one distillery. Now we move on to the chemistry. Whiskies and other distilled beverages, for example, cognac and rum, are compound beverages that comprise a huge variety of flavoring compounds, of which some two 100 to 300 are simply noticed by chemical analysis. The flavoring agents contain carbonyl compounds, alcohols, carboxylic acids and their esters, nitrogen and sulfur containing compounds, tannins and other polyphenolic compounds, terpenes and oxygen containing heterocyclic compounds and esters of fatty acids. The nitrogen compounds include pyridines, picolines and pyrazines. Next is flavors from distillation. The flavors present in whiskey are partly determined by the existence of congeners and 
fusel oils. These oils are higher alcohols than ethanol, which are somewhat toxic and have a strong disagreeable smell and taste. An excess of fusel oils in whiskey is considered a defect. To remove undesired fusel oils, various techniques are used in the distillation process. Traditionally, American distillers focused on secondary filtration using charcoal, gravel, sand or linen to remove undesired distillates. Flavors from oak whiskey that has been placed in oak containers will absorb substances present in wood. One of these is cis-3-methyl 4-octanoloid known as the whiskey lactone or Kyrgyz lactone, a compound with a strong coconut aroma. Commercially charred oaks are rich in phenolic compounds. Different studies have identified 40 different phenolic compounds. Next, we move on to flavors and coloring from additives. Subjected to the local guidelines, additional flavors and colors are added to whiskey. In combination to the distilled mashed spirits, the Canadian whiskey may also comprise of caramel. No other additions are done in scotch whiskey except for the caramel. The adding of flavors is not permitted in American straight whiskey. Nonetheless, is allowed in American blends. Chill filtered. Whiskey is often chill filtered, cooled to precipitate out fatty acid esters and then filtered to remove them. Most whiskies are bottled this way unless specified as unchilled filtered or non-chill filtered. This is done mainly for cosmetic reasons. Unchilled filtered whiskies often turn cloudy when stored at cool temperatures or when cool water is added to them and this is perfectly normal. The next alcoholic drink we will go into detail is the brandy and if you look at the word brandy, the word brandy is derived from the word brandywine which factually means burnt wine and brandy is a spirit manufactured by the process of distillation of wine and obviously it also contains higher percentage as compared to wine that is higher percentage of alcohol as compared to wine and it usually comprises 42.2 percent alcohol by volume and is characteristically taken as an after dinner drink. Types Brandy has been categorized into three types. The word brandy means grape brandy when the type has not been mentioned. Under this first is grape brandy. This type is manufactured by the process of distillation of grapes that has undergone fermentation such as Albanian grape brandy, American grape brandy, etc. Next is fruit brandy. These are distilled from fruits other than grapes like apples, peaches, plants, cherries, raspberries and blackberries. The brandy generally comprises of 40% to 45% ABV and they are often colorless. Few examples of fruit brandies are Applejack which is an American apple brandy manufactured 
by the distillation of hard cider. Coconut brandy is obtained from the sap of coconut flowers, etc. Next is pumas brandy. Pumas brandy, which is also known as mark in both English and French, is made from the fermentation and distillation process of the grape skin, seeds and stems that persist after grapes have been hard pressed to exude out the juice needed in the manufacturing process of wine. Although most of them are neither colored nor aged. Coming to rum as another alcoholic drink, Rum is nothing but a purified alcoholic drink obtained from the derivatives of sugarcane, for example, molasses, or from the juice of sugarcane by the method of distillation and fermentation comprising of an alcoholic content of 40 to 42 percent volume by volume. So, rum also contains considerably higher content of alcohol in it. Light runs are usually employed in cocktails while golden and dark runs were usually taken independently. Nonetheless, they are now generally taken with mixers. The runs may also be employed for cooking purposes. Next we move on to types. Rum can be better described by the variations and grades depending upon the location from where it originated. In spite of these variants, the subsequent terms are commonly used to define numerous kinds of rum. First is light rums. Also stated to as silver or white rums in common consist of little flavor besides the sweetness. They are also filtered so as to remove any color. After filtration, the mild taste of light rums makes them prevalent for use in mixed drinks in contrast to drink them straight. Gold rums are defined as the medium bodied rums which are also termed as amber rums which are usually aged. Gold rums have more flavors and have strong taste as compared to light runs and may also be considered in between that of light and dark rum. Next us, dark runs are well known for the specific color, for example, red, brown and black, which is a variety of the grade that is darker than gold rums. They are mostly aged longer, providing them much solid flavors as compared to gold or light rums. Flavored rums are instilled with aromas of fruits, for example, banana, mango, orange, etc. These are generally less than 40% ABV. Next, we move on to production. The production method for rum is not defined. As an alternative, its making is grounded on traditional styles that differ between locations and distillers. Most of them are manufactured from molasses. So as to start the fermentation process, water and yeast are added to the base ingredient to provide the fermentation time and a consistent taste, strains of yeast are employed. The yeast used in the process will define the final flavor and aroma of rum. Faster working yeasts are employed in the manufacture of light rums, while for the making of harder tasting rums, Slow working yeasts are employed as they cause more esters to accumulate in the fermentation process. Now we move on to distillation. For the production of rum, 
no set standards are used in the process of distillation and column still distillation is the most preferred for rum production, aging and blending. Many countries require rum to be aged for at least one year. The process of aging is done in wooden containers or stainless steel tanks. The aging process determines the color of the rum and after this process, the rum is mixed so as to get the consistent taste. The last step in process of rum making is the blending. As part of this blending process, light rums may be filtered to remove any color gained during aging. In cases for darker rum, caramel is added so as to adjust the color of the resultant product. The various nutritional information in case of rum is calories, 102 calories, protein, less than 1 gram, total fat present, 0 grams, saturated fat, 0 grams, carbohydrates, 5 grams, sodium, 10.8 milligrams, and lastly, alcohol by volume, 4.2%. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. You studied that beer is an alcoholic drink manufactured by the process of fermentation of sugar and sacrificing the starch. The strength of beer is usually around 4 to 6 percent alcohol by volume, although it may differ from 0.5 percent which is considered as de-alcoholized beer to even as high as 20 percent. But beer comparatively as compared to the other alcoholic drinks has lesser alcoholic content. Then we studied about wine and we knew and we studied that that wine is a alcoholic beverage made from fermented grapes or other fruits. The natural chemical balance of grapes let them ferment without the addition of sugars, acids, enzymes, water or other nutrients. We studied that whiskey is a type of distilled alcoholic beverage made from fermented grain mash. Different grains are used for different varieties of whiskey including barley, malted barley, rye, malted rye, wheat and corn. We studied that the word brandy is coming from the Dutch word brandewijn, which factually means burnt wine. Brandy is obtained from the process of distillation of wine and it usually comprises of 30 to 65 percent alcohol by volume. Rum is a distilled alcoholic drink manufactured from the byproducts of sugarcane, for example molasses or directly from sugarcane juice by the method of distillation and fermentation. The distillate is a clear liquid is then usually aged in oak barrels and then later on marketed.